Okay, so can you briefly again tell me that you were, you knew you had inclinations that Mar Mark might be Marissa. Right. How you discovered that? Okay, well, um, Mark and I uh, were dating for six months. We got engaged. And um, it was early on in the engagement that I was, I knew that Mark liked to dress as a woman. And I was okay with that. I kind of watched, you know, some like it hot, you know, those movies in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I liked doing his makeup, so it was kind of fun. And it was kind of fun to see a man struggling in women's clothes, you know what I mean? Because I, we have to put up with that all of our lives. So anyway, I was listening to the CBC one day and I heard an interview about this CBC um, reporter, and I believe he was from up north, and he described how he ended up in a field one day with a gun in his mouth, ready to shoot himself, because he was so unhappy and he couldn't go on living as a man. And it was just so compelling and so sad, and his voice was just so sad. And he said that he ended up losing his family, his children, his wife, but he was just so much happier that he couldn't have, he couldn't have gone on living like that. So I went home to Mark and I said, you know, I think this is just something more than liking to get dressed up. I said, I really believe you're transsexual, because that was the term at the time. And I just really believed that, because it was more like Mark had the soul of a woman. Like if you look, I've been around many transgendered people and there's some uh, transgendered um, male to female. And there's something about the look in their eyes that is just so compelling and it's like so feminine. And I can't even describe it, but it's like looking into their soul and you can just see that other person that they were meant to be. So when we all decided that Mark is Marissa, I, I, obviously it was no big deal to you really, was it? Uh, no, I think, I mean, I did, I did struggle in the first few years of our marriage because we were living, I felt uh, like a lie. So it, it was very anxiety provoking because we presented as this like normal, you know, he went out and made the bacon and I was a little woman at home doing the housework. And you at the same at this time, you knew he was strange. Absolutely. Okay. But we did this public persona that was different than the life that we lived at home. So that was very difficult, and for years um, I did struggle with that because I don't I don't like lying. I'm a very honest person, and I we never lie to our child. That was one of the stipulations when we had Lilia that we would never lie about this. Like she always knew from the time she was born. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's been easy for her, but definitely I hated lying, and we were kind of outed when we lived in Owen Sound by. Um, his secretary, I guess, because I don't even know how she found out. I think it was a rumor, and then anyway, it all came out. And at that time, when everyone knew, we told everybody, like our acquaintances, our friends, anyone who was in our house working, because we didn't want them to be blindsided by it. And would they want? I wanted them to feel comfortable in our house, and that you know he wasn't some sort of weirdo. That this is just who he was, and because people. It's just like with homosexuals, at first people used to always think they were, you know, pedophiles. And that's just such a horrific thing. So I just wanted to normalize it for people, if that's possible. And what about your daughter? How has she accepted the transition? She's been angry a lot. She, um, at, at first I think it was really hard. I, and it was only during puberty that, because when she was younger, it was like a no, like you wear 90s and dresses and... It was a, like a non-starter because she, that's just who she knew. But I think as she's gotten older and, and definitely when she's going through puberty, it became very uncomfortable for her. And I would say to her, you know, you can tell your friends, like, we're not, you know, we're out kind of thing. And she has never told her friends. And I don't know if any of her friends know because a lot of people in this town do know. So I don't know if they know and they don't say anything to her. And I guess she's just it fi it finds it awkward to bring it up. Well, she's still dealing with it, and she'll, I guess, and she'll, she'll probably figure it out. And then, like Mark said to me, that, like, I'm an asshole right now. My, because my daughters, a couple of years ago, I think, sort of, as they got older, yeah, they sort of, that's okay, whether male or female, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think. Well, I think we all experienced that when we were teenagers. That you think your your yeah. parents are like gods, and then all of a sudden they become people, and it's just really disappointing. 
So I think that was just part of it that, oh, great, and now he's transgendered. That's just great. Okay. <laughs> so again, I asked you this, uh, I asked you this before we started doing this, that when you're at home, what do you call Marissa? Do you call him Marissa Mark? And, and, and you, you defined it a little bit for me there. Well, it depends how she's dressed. Um, but definitely I call her Marissa when she's dressed. But, you know, in the morning when Mark's going off to work, I call him Mark. And I hope eventually that I'll just have to call Marissa. Yeah. And it, something that I, I've, I've learned is that it just whatever transgender you may be, doesn't designate your sexual preference. No. So he and, and Mark told me that, you know, it's... He's a lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> She's a lesbian. <laughs> okay, anything you want to add about this whole... I mean, 10 years from now, we, we may not have to do this. But we're still... We're, right now, we're trying to create some awareness. What I'm... All the, yeah, mosquito uh, right there. What I'm amazed at is, okay. uh, since the Caitlyn Jenner thing, I just feel really... Um, amazing that finally like this is our time you know we don't have to try and explain it and she's gotten such positive feedback and everyone's just really applauding her and her decision to be who she, she was meant to be so I think this is a really good time for transgendered people let me tell you like 15 years ago it was not a good time you know it was hard it was really hard you felt those struggles too absolutely and I felt um, misunderstood and I felt a lot of Marissa's uh, dysphoria and how uncomfortable that was. And I actually got really fat because I think I felt guilty about being pretty. So I got huge. And it was sort of like a, I don't know, like a defense to say, oh, look, I'm not pretty anymore. But I have lost some of the weight <laughs> since then. But I definitely think that was part of my weight gain, like not wanting to be the, the pretty one in the relationship. Well, you, you still are pretty. Thank you. Um, so it's all, it's changed now for you. Do you feel more comfortable that Caitlin has come out like this? Absolutely. I think it's amazing. And I really um, applaud her. And I really want us to go forward. Um, when we first got married, I said, in 10 years, let's get remarried. And in fact, at that time, there was no same-sex marriage. And that used to worry me too, because I would be like, well, are we going to be married or what's going to happen? And I kind of hoped within 10 years that he she would transition but there was just too much pressure from work and social pressure and mm -hmm. family like you know we told our families right away uh, when Lily was young and it wasn't well received definitely especially by our fathers in fact his father has never mentioned it again he's never talked about it he's never said anything and that was like 16 years ago Did they talk? We still have a relationship, yeah. but they don't talk, talk about don't talk about that. So he's he's marked. To absolutely, okay. yes, absolutely. Okay. There's no Marissa there. Is there anything else that I haven't asked you that you wish I'd ask you? Um. Or a comment or anything else about this. Okay. Well, I guess my hope is now that um, this has all come out that Mark will transition to be Marissa that he will get facial feminization surgery and he will eventually live the way she was meant to. <laughs> he will live the way she was meant to be. I gotta ask this question because people are going, but I can Pronouns, see. pronouns. Pronouns, not, but what about bottom surgery? Do you see that happening? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. So that changes the whole s sexual thing in a way, right? Yeah, but we've all, it, it's interesting because I think We've always kind of been like two women together, <coughs> even though there's that appendage. But, <laughs> you know, lesbians make do with, you know, fake appendages, right? So, <laughs> okay. so bottom line, Marissa, Mark is your soulmate. Um, and it's all about love, isn't it? Absolutely. It doesn't matter the package, it's what's inside. And that's so true. Did Mark tell you that we met when I was 10 and he was 12? Yeah, we met in a park <laughs> and I bossed him around and uh, we never forgot each other. And it's so funny, it was only after Lily was born, we were talking about this park in Oakville and I ordered him off, there was guns there that the kids played on. And it was interesting because we both never forgot the incidents but we didn't really realize it was who we were until years later. But it was such an interesting point. Yeah. That's, that's really interesting. 
serendipity or something. Um, can you tell, can you relate the fact that it's a funny story, it's cute. About the wedding night, you mean? So on our wedding night, I had a beautiful wedding gown and poor Mar Mark, Marissa, was wearing pants and a silk, a silk blouse, it was a blouse and a tie. So that night, um, after all the festivities, I put her into my, I was wearing a corset and a gown and she looked beautiful and I just wanted to do that because I felt so badly that she couldn't be part of that. But hopefully we'll remarry and she will get that chance to wear a wedding dress. Very nice.